and I would want to see a minimum five year full replacement warranty, not prorated. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert videos here at Boat How To. I'm here with Nigel Calder today and we got a question from some of our readers who asked about the life expectancy of solar panels. So Nigel, what's your experience with that or your take on that? Well, it, it um, largely depends on how well they're built and how well they're installed. Uh, in uh, home power world, uh, the life expectancy of a solar panel is basically 25 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, uh, many of those panels are warranted to maintain 80% uh, of their rated output after 25 years. That's so it's quite a, it's, a long time. It's though. a long time. Mm -hmm. On my boat, I got solar panels that are still doing well that are now um, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. um, so they can have a, li a long life expectancy. On the other hand, we have lots and lots of solar panels that fail in a year or two. I think mm -hmm. you have. Yeah, actually, yeah, I had right? to replace mine, but <laughs> right. it was because I didn't install them in a proper way. Well, there you and go. They so, walk on panels. Right, and, uh, right. Yeah. So there are, t there are two issues here. We use a lot of um, semi-flexible uh, mm -hmm. panels in, in the boat wall because then we can wrap them over the deck mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, and um, the construction there is really critical. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an awful lot of failed panels just from poor construction. And then uh, the insulation is critical. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, uh, Some of these panels, for example, you can zip it to the top of a bimini. Mm -hmm. Well, if the wind's flapping the bimini up and down all the time, mm -hmm. um, sooner or later Going the cells are going to crack. Uh, the connections between the cells, which are actually the mm -hmm, weakest link in mm -hmm, them, they're going to break. Mm -hmm. And because a solar panel is a series connected device, you've got all these cells connected in series. Mm -hmm. You break the connections between uh, a couple of cells, the, the panel's dead. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we've had lots of failures uh, on where the conductors are attached to the panels, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, or water gets in there, or they get or they get broken. Mm -hmm. um, failures where they're installed through the deck, and poor deck seals, and so on. So, but a well-built, well-installed panel um, should be good, I, I would say, for at least 10 years, um, mm -hmm. although there's not many that get that far. Uh, so when you're buying one, the only the decent way of making sure you get a, a good panel for a marine environment is to buy from a recognized marine brand, mm -hmm. and they're not going to be cheap, uh, with a decent warranty. Mm -hmm. And I would want to see a minimum five-year full replacement warranty, not prorated. Mm -hmm. you know, some of them, if you've had it for four years, they'll say, oh, you've only got 20% oh, of the okay. warranty left. Well, that doesn't do you any good then. Yeah, no. and there's not many mm -hmm. uh, that will give you that warranty. And even amongst the uh, high quality vendors, there have been uh, at times batch failures. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then, um, so there's no guarantee that you're going to get a, a good one. Mm -hmm. And there's some really cheap panels on the market that I would never bother to put on my mm -hmm. boat. You know, by the time you've gone to the effort of putting it in there, you've got a lot of work and expense. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't pay to buy cheap stuff and then spend a lot of time and money yeah, installing Especially it. since you only have, normally you have only limited surface area, so yes. you want to make yes. sure to get the most output yeah. of it the most yeah. reliable way. Yeah. And in the end of the day, it's actually, solar is probably probably the cheapest way you can get energy on a boat. I mean, I think... It's a, for a cruising boat, it's a terrific investment. Mm -hmm, yeah. There, um, but there's also, within the home power market, there are all kinds of standards mm -hmm. that the panels have to be built to. Uh, within the marine market, and you take a home power panel and put it on a boat, all mm -hmm. of that goes away. Mm -hmm. we, we basically have no standards. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't look for a sticker mm -hmm. which says this is a marine rated yeah. panel and mm -hmm. it's guaranteed to last 10 mm -hmm. years. We just don't have that. Uh, avail that option available yeah. to us. Yeah, and I mean, it's a rough, way rougher atmosphere in the marine air. Yeah. You get corrosion, you get all kinds yeah. of uh, movement on the panel. So, yeah, it's yeah. a different story than something you put on your house, I guess. Yeah. Um, all right, well, thanks for that take on, on solar panels. We actually have a bonus lesson to our Boat Electrics 101 course where we talk about solar panels and uh, new construction uh, methods that actually make those ones way more reliable. So uh, check that out and uh, check out our course Boat Electrics 101 at boathow2.com. Thanks for watching and see you soon.